Given vector u in component form, we're asked to find the magnitude and direction, where well, the direction is the angle in which the vector points measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis in the interval from zero to 360 degrees. To begin, let's sketch the vector in standard position, which means the initial point is at the origin, and then from here, because the x component is three, we would move right three units, and then because the y component is negative six from here, we would move down six units. This would be the terminal point of the vector in standard position, which means this is the vector u. Notice by sketching the horizontal and vertical components, we now have a right triangle on the coordinate plane that we can use to help determine the magnitude, which is the length of the vector, as well as the direction, which again is the angle measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise to the vector, this angle here. To determine the magnitude, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem, which if solved for the magnitude, with the magnitude of vector v equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared. And then because we're on the coordinate plane, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, Solving for theta, we have theta equals arctangent of y divided by x. We need to be careful when determining the angle theta though, because the angle theta must be in the interval from zero to 360 degrees, and the output or range for arctangent is the open interval from negative 90 degrees to positive 90 degrees. Let's begin by determining the magnitude of vector u. And we can indicate magnitude using single vertical bars or double vertical bars. Using double vertical bars, we have the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of the quantity three squared plus the square of negative six. Simplifying, we have the square root of nine plus 36, giving us the magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of 45. But this does simplify because 45 does contain the perfect square factor of nine 45 is equal to nine times five, and therefore the square root of 45 is equal to the square root of nine times the square root of five, and therefore the simplified exact magnitude of vector u is equal to three square root five. And that's we're kind of determining the angle theta, where the angle theta is equal to arctangent of y divided by x, or the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us arctangent of negative six divided by three, which is equal to arctangent of negative two. And now we'll go to the calculator. It's important to make sure we are in degree mode. So we press the mode key and notice how degree is highlighted. So we are in degree mode. Go back to the home screen, press second tangent, for arctangent or inverse tangent, negative two, close parenthesis and enter. Rounding to two decimal places, we have approximately negative 63.43 degrees. Now this is not the angle we are looking for because remember, the direction angle needs to be in the interval from zero to 360 degrees. However, this will tell us the reference angle of the angle we are looking for. If we sketch negative 63.43 degrees, that would be this angle here. So again, this does tell us the reference angle for our angle is 63.43 degrees, and therefore our direction angle, angle theta, is equal to 360 degrees minus 63.43 degrees, or because it's coterminal with negative 63.43 degrees, we could just add 360 degrees. So let's call this negative angle theta sub one. Theta, the direction of the vector that we're looking for is equal to 360 degrees minus 63.43 degrees, giving us theta is equal to 296.57 degrees. So going back to the graph one last time, starting along the positive x axis and rotating counterclockwise, this red angle, angle theta, the direction of the vector, is approximately 296.57 degrees. 
which is how we want to give the direction of the given vector. So it is important when determining theta that we graph the given vector in standard position and then make sure the angle is in the interval from zero to 360 degrees and terminates in the correct quadrant. I hope you found this helpful.